Hello, this is a complicated shape. It's used in railings, table legs and posts. In real life, the, uh, you start up with this uh, square block and you start cutting on a lathe going around in circles. So that creates this shape of this piece here. It automatically makes this shape as depending on how deep you, you cut. We'll make it with two different objects, a sphere and a box. By deleting a few items, a few faces, we will connect them or combine them later uh, to create the piece. So first, change your units to a small increments, such as 1 32nd of an inch. You can use millimeters if you want to. So let's create a box. Notice the box I'm creating, the length steps, the width steps are at 4 by 4 and the steps on the height is just 1, as you can see here with the white lines. Move this up a little bit, center it. Now let's make a sphere. The sphere is something you have to decide as to what size you want in order to create a smooth transition between both of them. If you're looking at the source, something you try to match, then you will size this sphere to that shape. Convert it to an editable poly and remove the top and remove a portion of the bottom here. So now we can resize this again so that it fits very close to the size of the um, to the box. Now co to select the box and convert it to an editable poly. Remove the top and remove the bottom as well. We're going to add an arc here. You can use snaps to vertices and draw an arc between these two vertices by pulling it down and you do the same thing on this side. Now extend this vertices here to match the arc. Just pull them down like so and take the center piece and pull it down as well. Now we can attach the two objects. Select the sphere and select the box and click on attach. Now that they are one piece we can use target weld to connect these vertices from the sphere to the box. Make sure you select the sphere vertices first and then the, um, the box vertices. Once you're done we can select the center pieces and just weld them. Click on weld, adjust the number here and you will see the difference between before and after. So that is the basic idea. Now this area here, this here, it needs to be smoothed up a little bit more. So select these edges all around and we're going to add a uh, couple of lines with connect. Maybe one line is good enough. And then you want to adjust this a little bit so that it curves and it matches the rest of the curve. You can make final adjustments depending on, like I said, the uh, object you're trying to match. This is pretty much uh, all there is. Now you can add a turbo smooth modifier to see the results. And as you notice, the edges here have to be sharp. So select these edges first. After you're done with the selection, you can chamfer them. Click on chamfer and uh, adjust the value to the size you want. You want this to do be as small or as wide as you need to. You can also use quad chamfer here, but 
to make it smoother but there's no need for that because uh, as you can see here we're going to be using turbo smooth and that will take care of the subdivision in the middle here so just leave this as small as you want click OK now that's practically all there is the rest is much easier in order to uh, draw the rest here you can see the very nice uh, choir so there's a couple of ways to do the rest of the uh, uh, piece once you have selected the um, column or baluster you wish to make you should try to find on the internet uh, a profile that will look like what you need to do if you bring it as a bitmap and use it as diffuse map in materials just crop the areas you need like in this case and then apply the crops you will also apply the material to a plane because we need to look at it in this area here so after you make a plane we will apply the uh, material to that plane making sure also that it shows realistic material in viewport you also need to change this to default shading and if you can't see the image here you may have to unclick this and this area this is use real world um, map size Alright, now it's a matter of using a line to trace this uh, profile. Uh, but I don't need that part, so I'm going to just use this bottom part, and I'm going to do it a little bit fast. So here you take your time and see how smooth, you know, with how much detail you want. So once you're done to this point here, stop and use a lathe modifier. The adjustments of la uh, lathe modifiers click on max and if you can't see it right, click on this axis and move it outside. So you can change the size of this um, image you have here. After this, you can use Turbo Smooth. All right. So yeah. So yeah, this is a very uh, interesting shape because it's a compound going from square to round, but also it has to go uh, immediately from square to round. You know, so that these edges don't look flat. Now, the other way to do this is if you have some source guides like this, using pull, uh, shift, you can shape this uh, border this way to change. You know, the uh, press R or W and then shift pull. So when you're done, same thing, it will be all one piece. You can add some materials, like I said, and you'll be done with that. So thanks for watching. If you uh, like this uh, lessons, please give me a like and approval. You can make a comment or ask me any questions you want. See you then. Bye.